Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to import data into Excel, create a scatter plot, and then export your data and your graph as a single page. So to get started, we're going to click on Excel, choose blank workbook, and then we're going to enter our data here at the top left. So for this example, I'm going to use some titration data for my Chem 3275 students, but really this methodology will work with anything that you want to graph in Excel. So we're going to start by adding a header for our data. So I've got milliliters NaOH plotted against pH. And now we're going to enter our raw data below. To save some time in this video, I'm just going to import some example data here. So let's see, select all of this, copy and paste it in. Go ahead and maximize Excel. Now let's format our data to make it look a little bit nicer. So let's select both of these columns and center them. Then we're going to select just the header, bold it, and we're going to add a line underneath it. So click on this borders button and choose bottom border. Now we're going to format each column to have the same number of decimal spots. So the NAOH should have one decimal spot. So let's select all of that. Right click, format. Under category, choose number and then decimal places one. Now we're going to do the same thing for the pH column, except it should have two decimal spots because our pH meter reads to two decimal spots. Now we're going to go ahead and auto size each column. So select both columns. And then when you see this little double arrow here, double click. And now our column should be auto sized. And so now we can go ahead and insert our scatter plot. So we're going to click anywhere in the workbook, click on the insert tab under charts here, choose insert scatter X, Y, and then choose your first option here for just a plain scatter plot. We're going to drag this up closer to our data. Now we're going to right click on it and choose select data. And now we're going to hit this add series button, choose our X values. We're going to want our NAOH on the X axis. So let's select all of our NAOH data. And then for Y values, let's go ahead and delete what they have in there. Scroll back up and select all of our pH values. Hit OK, OK again, scroll back up, and now we have a scatter plot. OK, so now let's format our scatter plot. Let's go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. We're going to get rid of our title. We're going to add titles for each axis. So we're going to go up here to Chart Tools, Design, Add Chart Element, Axis Title, Primary Horizontal. So let's give an appropriate name to the horizontal axis. And now let's give an appropriate title to the vertical axis. Okay, so now let's tweak the values for the axis a little bit. So for pH, we're going from 0 to 14. So just click anywhere on these uh, vertical value axis right here. Go to Chart Tools, Format, Format Selection. And it should bring up this little dialog box on the right. We're going to change our maximum to 14. Now we're going to do the same thing for the x-axis, Just so just click anywhere on the x-axis, and we're going to set our maximum to 36. And change our major units to 4, so everything matches up nicely. There we go. So since we made our graph a little bit bigger, let's go ahead and increase the font size for our labels here. So click on the Home tab. And we're going to change it from 9 to, let's say, 12. Go ahead and do the same thing for the y-axis. And we'll do the same thing for our labels here. So 
So now we're going to add a descriptive caption underneath our chart. So we're going to click anywhere on the workbook, go to insert text box, and we're going to draw a text box that's roughly the same width as our chart. Now by default, Excel adds a border around this. So we want to get rid of that. So we're going to right click, choose format shape. Over here on the right, we should have a little dialog box. We're going to click on line and choose no line. So now we should have a text box without any border around it. So now let's click on our text box and add a caption. So we'll make this figure one. We're titrating arginine here. And give a little description. So let's go ahead and bold our figure heading. Make the font size a little bit bigger. And we need to expand our text box so that everything fits inside. And there we go. And that should be everything. So now let's just export this to a single page. So we're going to go to File, Print, under Printer we're going to choose Adobe PDF, and under Scaling we're going to choose Fit Sheet on One Page, and then hit Print. Just save this as whatever you want. Hit save. And there we have it.